Hi there, welcome back. Uh, thank you for checking out my video. I'm here to talk about the Primal Podcast. Now, I have seen the Primal Podcast before. And uh, it's not something I watch often. But I, I did stick it in my watch later list. And uh, of course, and I did watch the whole thing. So, um, now... I do like the Primal Podcast. What I like about the presenter, the young lady who who uh, runs the Primal Podcast, she is um, she's very intelligent. She takes time to learn a little bit about the subject so she can answer ask intelligent questions. So she doesn't go in there blind, uh, which is okay sometimes to go in somewhere blind because you are going to learn something from your guest which is still very valid. However, I do like the fact that she takes the time to understand what the person that she is speaking with is talking about. In this case, it was uh, a brain doctor. However, uh, what I have noticed, because I've watched a couple of her podcasts, um, I, I don't think I'm going to subscribe to this channel, but uh, I would give it a 3.5 out of 5. And the reason for that and this would be for me. Now, it might not it might not be for you. It, you might think it it's a, a higher rating, but for me, the reason is is that I'm so knowledgeable about health that I find that I'm not learning anything and the whole time I'm saying if you knew this, well, you should do that. If you did this or you did that, then it's, it would help this or it would help that. So I don't find that there's a lot of answers. Like this this doctor, he talked about things that could help you a bit, but it's not going to cure your Parkinson's. Uh, you should get an air filter. That's going to help. And you should get a water filter. That's going to help. Like, yeah, okay. Like, I know we need air filters. I know we need water filters. I know the air is polluted. I know the solutions. It's the solutions that we need to talk about. So for me, that's a big thing. It's it's about the solutions. Like I'm okay to talk about the problem and how the problem is being created and how it works. Like for him, he's talking about how, you know, for example, with dry, dry cleaning uh, solutions, how you, you know, you go into the dry cleaners and you come out and it's touching you and then you, the clothes are, you put it in your closet and all those chemicals are in, now in your closet and they're in your air. So he's talking about that, which of course I like this. These are kind of, for me, I already know this stuff, but some people who don't might be like, wow, I never knew that. I, I didn't even know that. That's so weird. But so for me, this kind of stuff is old knowledge. So a lot of this stuff, because it's a lot of young people too, on these podcasts for me, I'm, I mean, I'm just starting my, my fifth year of the dragon and I've been doing this since my, my second year, halfway through my second year of the dragon. So I was very, very young when I started uh, learning about health and I've also cured cancer more than once. And the way I cured my cancer is the same way it's the cure for all diseases. So this, he didn't have an answer. So, so that's my review. That's where I'm going to stop my review. If you're, if you're only interested in the review for this channel, then you can stop right there because that's pretty much my review. It's a, a 3.5 out of 5. The reason I gave it that is because it, it's for me, it's a, a lot of very superficial knowledge that I already possess. To me, that's why it's superficial because I already possess it. But, um, and I find that with a lot of her stuff, but I, I did, I might look at her one about the carnivore diet, even though I am a carnivore. So I just want to see what they have to say about it because scientifically I don't, uh, I don't have that, those, those words, I guess you could say, or maybe I do. I don't know. I just, I'm going to watch the video anyway, <laughs> but I don't think I'm going to subscribe to the channel because I don't think that I need to. Um, now that's where my, that's where my, um, review ends. Now I'm going to comment as though I was commenting on this video and several of her other videos as well. 
Oh, and just FYI, it's not just her. It's it's a lot of things I see on YouTube. Uh, there's a lot of bad information out there. Or just, just like superficial information. But um, one more thing about her is that I did want to say, which I, I don't know if I said, uh, She's very personable. She's very personable and she does take the time to uh, learn about the subject prior to uh, her interview. Now, this would be my comment because I'm not writing all this down. It's too much effort. Plus, I feel like the doctor isn't even going to see this. Uh, I don't even know if he's going to see this video, but I hope he does. The brain doctor... That was on the Primal podcast. I hope he gets a chance to see this. So, uh, about 20, oh, just over 20 years ago, uh, well, yeah, I had uh, cancer. And it, of course, it took several years to develop. Uh, ultimately, I, I remember when I got my very first headache. Uh, and uh, it started exactly where the brain tumor was that I had. And, uh, so that started when I moved into a building, a new, that was brand new. And so all the off gassing from all the materials in the building, I think is what started the brain tumor. But I believe that also only could have happened because I was already so full of toxins from everything else that, uh, I've lived through anyway. To answer this brain doctor specifically, so brain doctor specifically, there is a cure for all diseases. All the diseases are um, made up of parasites and toxins. Those toxins can be metals. They can be anything that you come in contact with. Like you were mentioning the, uh, the dry cleaning chemicals. Anything, any, anything. So, in order to clean out all the disease, all you have to do, it's so simple, is just flush out the toxins, flush out the parasites, just do flushes, a metal flush, a parasite flush, a kidney flush, a liver flush, just flush it all out. And once you get those systems moving, get the lymphatic system moving, jump on a trampoline, get, get everything moving, clean out your bowels, you know, get, get a colon flush, do everything, flush it all out. And, uh, it's such a simple, it's such a simple method. Now I learned about this from first, the first thing I did was I got this book called the cure for all diseases by Dr. Hulda regular Clark. She, she, uh, <laughs> they treated her like a criminal because she found the cure for all diseases and they were going to throw her in jail because she started telling people that they had cancer and other things that they were like, oh, there's no way I have cancer. But it would be like, oh, you know, it's like the cancer that they can't see on their machines, she can see with her machine. That's how it works. So, of course, that person would go to the doctor and he'd take an x-ray and he'd go, there's nothing there. Meanwhile, it could be a tiny, tiny little, a tiny, tiny little tumor. But the thing is, is that those machines that they have, they can't tell if you have cancer unless it's 80% grown. You're practically dead by then. I, when I went to the, I went to so many doctors every day, telling, even telling them that I had cancer. And they're just like, like, I can't, I can't believe how useless they were. I can't believe they got paid by the government with our tax monies. It, it was just, it was, and anyway, so. I ended up going to what I call the healthcare professional who used Dr. Hulda Clark's, Dr. Hulda Clark's method with a synchrometer, which she teaches you how to build in this machine, in this book. She teaches you how to build the machine in this book. And then she goes through every single thing. She teaches you how the disease starts in your body. She teaches you how to prevent it. And what you can do in your house, including the air fill, all those filters, that's like, to me, common knowledge. 
to, to cure yourself of these diseases. And there's so much more now, like the prevention of all cancers, even, even like that, like going through that, it's going to tell you about how the cancer, how the cancer tumor starts. But even so, the prevention of all cancers is going to be equally effective to curing Parkinson's and any other disease, including HIV. That's right, people. HIV. Wherever there's a way for you to be sick, there is a way for nature to fix you. Dr. Hulda Clark uh, died several years ago. God rest her soul. The woman, my healthcare professional, was in contact with Dr. Hulda Clark while she was in Mexico, where she had to flee or she was going to be put in jail, was in contact with her and was working on my case specifically. I never spoke to Dr. Hulda Clark, but bless her. Thank you, Dr. Hulda Clark, for helping me to cure me from my cancer because I had cancer. I had lymphatic leukemia and I had a brain tumor. So I effectively had cancer. I had, I was like coughing up blood. I had cancer in about 15 different places in my body. I had cancer tumors, even more. I, I probably had even more than that, but I, that's, that's a, what, what we would call a conservative number. Anyway, anyway, the point is, um, brain doctor, in order to, um, cure Parkinson's, you're going to need to need to flush out those toxins. So I think his name is what Dr. Dr. Dorsey had. Yeah. Dr. Dorsey. Yeah. Dr. Dorsey. So anyway, Dr. Dorsey, the brain doctor, if you want to cure your Alzheimer's, I suggest you start getting this book. I suggest you build yourself a synchrometer. Uh, you can go to, there's a Dr. Hulda Clark store online. So the one thing about, so I'm not being promote, I'm not being paid to promote her in any way, by the way. So the one thing about her store is that um, she's also going to sell stuff online. That's going to, things that are going to help you uh, clean up your body. Now they come in bottles. The things that people don't know about the bottles that your medicine comes in, they come with a chemical coating and most companies don't wash out the bottles including all those expensive ones you buy. Dr. Halda Clark, her store does. Now, also, there's another brand called Now, N-O-W. It's, it's an ugly packaging. It's orange. Don't worry about it now. Don't change your packaging just because I said it was ugly. But it's just um, an orange packaging, and it's um, they are safe, and they have like a purple lid usually. Uh, they're safe. Those are also safe. They must wash their bottles prior to uh, packaging them. So you're not going to get uh, chemicals on your on your medicine when you buy from now or Dr. Hulda Clark. And neither one of them are paying me to say this. I'm telling you this because my healthcare professional who had a synchrometer tested every single thing that came past across her desk. And she said, now was the only one that tested chemical free besides Dr. Hulda Clark because, because of course she was working closely with Dr. Clark and Dr. Clark knew to wash the bottles. And so do her children who run the store now. They also know this. So that's why it's a safe, you, what you're looking for here are safe alternatives right? This is what the doctor was talking about in the book. You're, you're trying to look for things that are safe. You want safe medicine. If you're going to buy something in a bottle, it should be safe. Either that, or you should package it yourself. Okay. If you want safe candy, you got to make it yourself, right? This is the whole thing. Cause the candy that they sell out there, it's not safe. But anyway, I can go on a hundred times for a hundred hours about <laughs> about how to cure cancer and arthritis and everything. But basically, I'm just going to say very simply, and if you want to know more, ask me. I'll tell you more if you want to know more. So far, nobody's asked me to tell them more. But I can tell you how to cure arthritis. I can tell you how to do everything that I did. I can tell you everything I went through if you want to know. But I will tell this doctor right now, Dr. 
Dr. Ray Dorsey, and he said, call me Ray. Everybody calls me Ray. Well, Ray, I suggest you pick up one of these books. I suggest you uh, get a synchrometer or you build your own and you start testing people and you'll find out exactly what's what. And the good thing about it is that it seems like you're getting paid for it already. So it's not like uh, going rogue, like you can do this, you know, and still get paid for it. It seems like you can go rogue and still get paid for it. Whereas my healthcare professional is pure, pure on rogue, right? She doesn't get paid by the, uh, the Canadian government of any province. Cause we go by, by province, your health is by province. So, I live in Ontario, therefore I have an Ontario Health Provincial Insurance. And uh, and there is no province in Canada that covers getting tested by a synchrometer. So uh, you have to pay for it. Luckily, my healthcare professional still uh, charges the same price she charged in the early 90s. And as much as I want to tell her to update her prices... I also don't want to get charged more. However, she really should update her prices. She's it's like, seriously, people at people are charging like a thousand dollars for these tests. It takes her an entire day, entire, sometimes two or three days to do test one person. She should be charging hundreds and hundreds of dollars, but she doesn't. <sighs> well, thousands she should be, but anyway, that's my recommendation. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, tell me what you think about what I've shared. And if you want to know more, I can go into a lot of depth.